on this second full week of August, we are expecting some pretty widespread heat to uh, be with us in the southern U.S. as we take you through the uh, week ahead. Uh, we're tracking the tropics. Tropic Storm Henriette continues in the eastern Pacific. And we're also going to be watching some severe weather concerns over the next few days in the northern tier of the nation mainly. So here's a look at the eastern Pacific outlook. Tropic Storm Henriette again drifting to the west. Also watching that wave of energy. A moderate chance of formation over a five-day period. Doesn't look like we're going to have much of an issue with Henrietta as this drifts to the west, kind of diminishing through midweek, only uh, causing some issues for ships and slow-moving whales. Temperatures here across the southern U.S. on this Monday will be very warm. Look at Dallas, up to 101 again. Widespread heat advisories, excessive heat warnings, and then excessive heat watches in the southwest. So we'll focus in on the southern U.S. Temperatures here feeling more like 110 to 115. So this is definitely dangerous. Actual air temperatures here, again, Again, into the upper 90s and lower 100s. We'll be pretty warm in the southeast over the next several days. But the southwest, excessive heat watches in place. Here's Death Valley. Temperatures could be topping out near 120 as we take you through the middle and end of this upcoming week before cooling off this weekend. The extended outlook keeps us very summer-like across much of the nation from the 19th to the 25th. And for now, we've been dealing with monsoon moisture over the Four Corners region uh, with that moisture seeping out into the plains, meeting up with a couple of fronts. We may have some areas of focalized severe weather, especially today from southeastern Iowa to central Illinois. There's an enhanced risk. Looks like tornadoes may even be possible. Uh, 5% chance within that particular area. Damaging winds will be the most likely concern as well as a large hail. And then by uh, Tuesday, that severe threat heads up into the northeast, including Washington, D.C. and New Jersey.